For today's video, I tried on a lot of the newest pieces from Everlane just to figure out which of the top 20 I could narrow it down to to find what is the most chic, what's the most appropriate for fall, and also what I think will really blend with what you already own. So I am working a lot today with trousers and sweaters and some outerwear pieces and then just lots of colors and textures that I think are perfect for this time of year. Also, thanks to Everlane for sponsoring this video. They've been a longtime supporter of this channel. I think that my first ever sponsored content was Everlane related, and so our relationship goes back quite a way. I think that they really helped me build the core of my closet, and that's why I lean heavily on them for my basics, because the quality with the price point is just such a great match. So with that said, let's get on to the first piece. The first pair of pants I wanted to show were these ones that are the way high drape pant. They're meant to drape a little bit at the bottom so you can wear them with flats but they're much more of a casual take on a trouser so I actually just like to wear them with heeled boots this time of year and then also I might take them up a little bit because they're 30 inches long um, so that allows me to be able to keep the hem really clean come winter time when it gets a little bit you know like the ground gets dirty so that's what my plan is but the material is like a tensile and cotton blend which is much warmer than the linen version I tried this summer and and they were just life-changing pants, so I had to share them in these versions. I've got some other ones today too, so you'll see these in different colors and fabrics. These are gonna be linked down below along with everything else I mentioned today, so you can click those links and follow along. I will put you know, some corresponding numbers in the corner so you don't have to lose your place. I'm pairing these pants with this top, actually, which is my next piece. So this is the half-zip merino sweater. I love this fabric too because it's a blend of responsible wool and they use yak wool in addition and it's not itchy at all like I'm not wearing any extra layers under this so it isn't you know unbearable as a sweater which has wool in it which is so rare to find um, I also just thought that it was that perfect blend between sporty and chic and so I'm tapping into that section of my personal style a bit just keeping things a little bit more smart looking you can zip this up too if you want to for like more of a conservative look but it also is just lovely to keep open for a more like flirty <laughs> look. I do like that it has a silver zipper on this, which is a little bit different than the gold that I normally use for a lot of my zippers. Um, and that just creates a different look as well, I think. For the first outerwear piece of the day, I had to try this trench that is in a khaki and black checkered combination. It is so lovely. They have different colorways, but this one intrigued me a lot. It's nice because it has that khaki. It's not like a strong white. So there's nothing like stark or anything like that happening. I think it brings a little bit more color to your face, leaving it in this khaki realm. And it also has that chic component. I love the collar. Um, I love the buttons on here. And the placement of the pockets is really well designed and it also has um, like storm flaps and everything so that has just a little bit more of that Audrey Hepburn vibe a lot of these pieces to me resemble things I would see in an old movie which makes them even more timeless I feel like a cashmere crew from Everlane was one of the first pieces that they ever gifted me and so I built my closet with a lot of their cashmere crews in the beginning this one has a boxy design and it also has a lot of unique ribbed details along the edging here along the collar and in addition on the cuffs and the design of this is a raglan on top so it's not like that boxy when it comes to the way it's going to drape on you really nicely this is going to be lovely for that very soft shoulder um, but ultimately it has a lot of drape to it so you can just tuck it in in the front if you want to or I think that i when I've put this on I just like to tuck the whole thing in and you might lose out on a little bit of that rib detailing but it still is a perfect sweater for a basic that still has that elevated detail along here. I think if you're gonna try the drape pant in a second color, I would definitely opt for this one. I believe it's called Ash Brown, um, but I'll link it down below. And I, again, just thought that this was one of those classic pairs of pants that you'll always want in your wardrobe. And it still is that casual cut, so it's not going to be too formal like a traditional trouser. And also, I have to say that both of these colors remind me of like seeing pictures of Grace Kelly, you know, that classic design um, with 
with just a trouser and it could even be a t-shirt with it and it looks so sophisticated. As for jeans, I have a couple to share with you today, but these are the sailor jeans, the way high sailor jeans. And so it's got that lovely rise. I actually have a pair of more high-end jeans that I have in my wardrobe, but I had to share these because this is a much more affordable option and it has 2% elastane, which gives it a little bit more flexibility than I am used to with more like tough denim, you know what I'm saying? So this allows you a little bit more comfort when you're gonna be sitting down or just moving around or anything, especially when you have that high rise. I feel like a little bit of stretch is such a comfort. If you've watched my channel for long, you'll know that I don't like a lot of distressing or whiskering or anything like that that might widen or change the look of my proportions. And so having just a very classic, mature, one color design on this is beautiful. Next is a Breton tee that Everlane modernized. Um, I believe that you can wear Breton tees like all year long. I love to wear them in the summer with a pair of shorts or else I like to bundle up with just the stripes showing underneath a jacket in the winter time. They're known for their boat necks and they're usually in a navy and white combination but this is like a black and ivory and so that's lovely. They usually have stripes down the middle that are 21 which represents every one of Napoleon's victories by the way. <laughs> Um, but for this purpose, I think they have 20 stripes, which is not a big deal. Um, but I actually absolutely love the design of this. They've got some little detailing along here with that ivory stitch that they've exposed. So lovely and just another win. It's got a very tight weave too, so that's going to make you extra warm when it comes to those windy fall days. Another colorway for the same top is this carob and navy. So here you've got the navy, but the stripes are a little bit wider and then just mixing it with that warm brown just makes it look so lovely and kind of like a varsity style. I feel like you could dress this so many ways, um, maybe baseball caps or anything like that would be a take on that academia varsity style and you could play with that a lot. Um, and then of course, it's just a lovely sweater to be able to wear with most colors of pants or trousers or jeans or anything. So another excellent win for building your closet. Next, these corduroy way high drape pants sold out so fast my head spun. I felt like I couldn't even get a pair. I, I was barely able to snag these. So if you find a color that you love in a size that you wear, buy them, just try them and see if they work for you because they are not gonna come back into stock. Like once they're gone, they're gone um, is what I'm told. So definitely try them. They are amazing. Corduroy is just one of those lovely fabrics for fall and in winter, um, but I can get by with wearing them all season, every season long, um, all year long. And I really appreciate the shine of this. I love that they're navy. I feel like navy is one of those underrated colors when it comes to fall styling and even into summer I like to wear them in late summer um, but ultimately I was so happy that I at least got this pair um, and I've been able to style it with so many pieces um, with this collection and I'm just Super pumped to see how many outfits I can come up with with these. This wouldn't be a Dearly Bethany and Everlane video without one of the Everlane turtleneck designs. This is actually their new Supima cotton, which is domestically sourced. And it's so great to be able to read up on that if you wanna do your research. I've been learning a lot. I love that they create this seam down the back. I feel like that's super sleek and sexy as far as turtlenecks go. And I just feel like this is the perfect transition piece because you can wear it on its own. You can throw on a leather jacket if it's just a little bit cold out and then you can transition that under being a layering piece underneath really warm sweaters and other sort of coats and that type of thing. But it's super form-fitting and still very um, just flattering and lovely to wear. If you're in a part of the world where it gets pretty cold sometimes, I think that right now even I would love to be able to bundle up in a pea coat like this one. I love my ever Lane pea coats. I've gotten them in the past um, and I just thought that they were so chic in the way that I can still wear an oversized piece as a petite. I think a lot of petites don't like to dress in really bulky um, big coats like this, but there is a lot of magic to it if you wear something that's a bit oversized and ironic um, depending on how you style your outfit. And this is like a heathered black so it comes in this charcoal color that's also very lovely and easy to style with. 
The fabric too is a recycled wool and I feel like they've brushed it or something. It just feels much softer to me this time around. Okay, I had to include one more pair of the Way Hydrate pants. These are the wool version and they come in a houndstooth print, which is a combination of blue and brown for the most part. And I love how if you wear it with certain colors, the color of the pants seems to change a little bit. So if you wear it with something that is more on the brown side, then it's actually going to show more of the blue in my opinion, and then vice versa. If you wear something that's a little bit more on the blue side or like a stark white, it's gonna show a little bit more of the brown. And it's interesting how you can sort of work with those combinations, but I think as a whole, these look a little bit more gray um, compared to like if you're wearing like a brown pair of pants or like a khaki. For a white button down that doesn't take itself too seriously, I really like this relaxed Oxford shirt because it's made out of cotton, it's comfortable, and it keeps you a little bit warmer than like a cotton that is more tightly woven and feels cool against your skin. This one feels warmer. Uh, it also can be styled in different ways. You can wear it like buttoned up everywhere, but you also can just scrunch up the sleeves, keep the collar a little bit open, and that relaxed feeling of the design really comes through. So it's wonderful if you want to style it with different jackets this time of year and it just dresses up different looks. I had to try this color of the turtleneck. I felt like it was just this beautiful gilded mustard color that really you can only find in like vintage stores, either whether that's clothing from the 60s or like an old retro piece of furniture, you might find something this color. And so I had to try it because I feel like this color would either do really well on my skin tone or it wouldn't. And I'm so happy that I did try it. It's got that like, Brianna Randall from Outlander in 1968 vibe, especially when I pair them with the Way Hydrate pants in that wool houndstooth print. Next, I tried the modern jean jacket, and this is a totally different jean jacket than any I've tried before. It's a very snug fit, slim fitting throughout the entire body and the arms. The buttons are so much different than any other jean jacket that I've tried, and it's got this beautiful point collar here. So everything's just kept slim and trim, and it feels so much different, I think, when styling it um, than a normal jean jacket, which is loose, you know, and all that. So this one just has a little bit more of a sophistication to it that I find really charming. It also is made with a stretch fabric that is not harmful as a chemical because a lot of stretch denim is pretty dirty as far as chemicals are concerned, and you can feel really good about this one. You're probably grinning that every single one of the pants I've shown today are the way high version, whether that's the way high jean, the sailors or the drape pants, but that is just how my proportions work. I love a good high rise, and this is that classic way high jean. I tried them in the regular and in the long, so you can kind of see for yourself which version makes the most sense for your proportions and what kind of shoes you plan to style with them, and also your height. There's a lot to consider there. Um, but ultimately, I felt like these were a pretty good standard pair of pants. They have that stretch to them that I loved in the same is just a different style. It doesn't have that wide leg option. So yeah, ultimately I felt like this was that classic pair. It doesn't have any of the whiskering that drives me crazy. <laughs> and I felt like even the pocket placement was well done. There's nothing that I can say about this that was a bad pair of jeans. So I definitely would recommend it if you're looking for that perfect standard pair. I've had my eye on this cardigan for quite a while. It's an alpaca cardigan, which makes it even more appealing to me. I love the alpaca fabric for being being super comfortable, soft, and lightweight. Um, and I'm so happy I tried it. I've been wearing it, I wore it this morning, making breakfast, I've worn it going out to restaurants. It isn't one of those frumpy designs of cardigans. Like it's just something that's a chic, standard, basic piece that you can layer on. I feel like you can wear this in between um, like a piece, like a regular top, and then wearing this and then a coat on top works well. I love that time of year where you can style it with three different thin fabrics and it looks wonderful as a full outfit. So yeah, absolutely love this and I can't recommend it enough.
Speaking of alpaca, I tried a different colorway than the other alpaca sweaters that I've had before, and this is in this blue-green color. And I wasn't sure at first if blue-green would work for me because I tend to pick greens that are a little bit on the warm side, but as you can tell, reds and greens look good on everyone, and you can just tweak it a little bit depending on what you are in the mood for, what suits your skin tone, and all of that. But it's very hard to get a green that's wrong on someone, and this one is no exception. I loved this color so much more in person than I even imagined. So I would definitely try this, even as a gift. I feel like a good alpaca sweater is a wonderful gift. And again, I think the color would flatter anyone and that slight ribbed detailing makes it even more expensive looking. Next, I tried their Pima Micro Rib Henley. Usually Henleys are designed to really embolden your shoulders and bring some emphasis there while diminishing the appearance of the middle. But this one actually is very slim throughout the middle as well. And I felt like the really nice touch was that you're getting these snap buttons here that you can wear closed or open. And it looks so lovely when you're wearing those jackets and stuff because you're not gonna be able to see a lot of the full shirt sometimes. And so you can style uh, that piece that's underneath a jacket and have that beautiful design right there. And so it works very well when styling it for fall. Next, I tried the corduroy long shirt jacket. Now, shirt jackets are pretty amazing for this time of year, but the fact that it matches the corduroy of that blue navy before for the pants is amazing. I really wanted to try this though because a lot of blazers that are usually designed to be about this length hit me at my widest point and this cascades down it. So it still is that mid-length jacket, it just goes a little bit past and I also love that it has these very minimal design of pockets because they are large pockets, you don't want to feel like it's overwhelming you but it is so lovely to be able to just carry a few things with you in your pockets instead of having to carry your bag with you. A lot of jackets from World War II were designed that way for women because leather was really hard to find so a lot of people didn't carry a purse with them at the time and instead just opted for these super large, comfortable and practical pockets. In the comments, let me know which piece was your favorite out of the whole bunch today. And then also let me know which pieces you end up buying because I'd love to know that as well. And also thank you to Everlane for sponsoring this video and making it happen. So with that said, I will see you in the next video. Bye.